<laughs> yeah. yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We got the Pro Boat Velez 29. All right, this is an all hand laid fiberglass constructed hull. Okay, it's 29 inches long, 10 and a half inches wide, son. This thing ought to be a freaking beast on the water. All right, so uh, today we're going to be unboxing this boat, kind of give you a detailed first look, detailed look at the boat inside and out, and then we're going to take it to the pond. In the next video, and see what this bad boy can do, huh? I had a lot of requests for this boat. A lot of my subscribers want this boat, or have been out. They've got the boat. They want to see it ironclad out. So that's what we're gonna freaking do. All right. So stick around. Stick around. Big B. We ironclad RC. Oh man, this thing's sick looking, you guys. It's sick looking. Oh, I'm loving the green. I'm looking, loving the black, silver, and white. Oh, it looks good, man. It really pops. Looks like a damn offshore super boat for real, you guys. This thing is bad to the bone. Now, you guys know I love building my boats. I love building boats from the ground up, okay? But there's nothing like getting a ready to run, like ready to go box stock. I mean, it's ready to roll, you know? Uh, you could always upgrade these boats to make, you know, add your own touches to the boats and really make the boat your own um but the green it's like a metallic uh green i'm loving the green i'm a green and blue guy i love i love it um i like the hatch the hatch it, it really it really is what gives this boat like a mean a mean look you know um they did some extra detail they they took some pride in their work you know uh the lubers back here it's like molded into the canopy here with your four thumb screws all the way around uh gives it like a like like i said a super boat look we're going to look at the boat here in just a minute i was just kind of showing you guys what it looked like initially um show you what you get in your box real quick you get your instruction manual definitely recommend you guys taking a look at that um you got these battery tray like foam battery tray they, they keep your batteries from um sliding back and forth in the boat I definitely recommend putting those in your battery tray um you got your SLT3 remote, comfortable in the hand. Comes with most, you know, a lot of pro boats, ready to runs. You got your throttle trims, uh, dual rates, and all that. Throttle re reversing, steering reversing, 5075 100 on all switches back here. Three channel uh, SR315 receiver in the boat. DSMR capable. If you guys want to bind up a dx5 rugged you can okay um good to see that's freaking good to see so that's basically what you get in the box it's ready to go you guys motor esc everything the whole nine 29 inches long 10 and a half inches wide it should be stable on the water you guys especially at high speeds okay so uh all the stickers look like they're they're on there's no bubbling nothing peeling up or anything like that that looks good in that aspect you got your antenna it's an aluminum antenna through hole here the antenna tube actually comes in your goodie bag so let's take a look at the at the hardware on this boat all right you've got uh basically it's like a one piece rudder strut assembly it's offset rudder all right um it's not all one piece you, you can see here that this these two screws hold the offset on and then you have your rudder blade here it has a breakaway nylon screw single single pickup on both sides you know double pickup single outlet uh it goes into the boat to cool the electronics down you got your your steering linkage here with a captured ball link you got the uh bellow that's actually on the inside of the boat and it gives it a nice clean look black anodized aluminum all throughout flat bottom strut all right basically looks like the same strut that's on the u19 flat bottom flat bottom i like to see that you guys i like to see that you got your teflon washer drive dog 1.7 1.6 pro boat propeller all right lock nut and a locking washer all right um it's nice nice looking uh rudder strut assembly you guys it's super freaking nice man I, I would use this on one of my custom builds you know that's freaking nice man uh you got your drain plug here and the back of the sponsons are nice and flat with a nice crisp 90 degree edge there that's gonna be good man water is gonna break off of it nice you guys so we'll actually need to go through and make sure all the all the screws and, and nuts are all like tight you know lock tight and all that maybe even put some sealant in between the the hardware in the hole here the waterproof i don't think pro boat does that so that's something you may need to think about <laughs> Let's 
let's take a look at the seam where they join the top side and the bottom side of the boat. All right, you can barely make out the seam on this boat. You can see right there, there's a seam where they join the top and bottom. That's nice, man. Uh, they did a good job at joining it, you know, and covering up the seam. Usually you'll see like a little pencil seam there and the front is the same way. Good deal, good deal. Looks good, you guys, looks good. Um, let's go in the boat here. Let's check out the inside of the boat. You got an S603. I think that's a plastic gear servo. Decent servo, decent servo. I've had that servo in my Blackjack 24 for about a year now with no issues. Uh, you could definitely upgrade a servo, you know, if you want some more torque or a quicker servo, you can upgrade it. It's sitting on a plastic servo mount there, laid down so you get a lower center of gravity. I like that. Plastic servo arm. Uh, that's also a good thing to upgrade. Uh, you got a, your 3650 Dynamite 6-pole 2000 kV brushless motor with a water jacket. All right, you got your water cooling run from your, your, your rudder, single pickup in the boat to your Dynamite motor to the speed control you got a dynamite 120 here marine esc water cooled water cooled all right um looks like oh looks like i got a little kink in my line so it goes from the motor to the esc and out the side of the boat uh definitely make sure that that's not kinked off maybe put a little spring over that cooling line right there just so uh you make sure you get good flow okay um you got ec5 connectors Two. You can run 3S and 3S, 2S and 2S in this boat. Actually, uh, have it like all consolidated on this really small electronics tray. It's like a plastic composite type plastic uh, electronics tray with these little tie downs right here. So you can actually zip tie your water cooling lines and kind of keep everything nice and tidy. Good to see. Good to see. Um, like I said earlier, a SR315 receiver. Okay, you can bind up your an upgraded remote DSMR capable. Get your, your battery trays here. They're actually glued into the sponsons, okay? Now, this is the one thing that I kind of I dislike about the boat so far, all right? I would like to have seen these trays sitting in, like all the way down flat on the bottom of the sponson, okay, in the in this sponson. I would like to have seen the battery tray sitting all the way down in the sponsons. Uh, they've got it like raised up off the sponson about a quarter of an inch. Okay, that's going to raise the center of gravity on this boat. Um, already, you know, you've got your electronic sit tray sitting on top of the tunnel right here. Okay, with all this weight up here, it actually is going to give this boat like a high center of gravity. Um, yeah, I would definitely like to have seen the battery trays a little bit lower to lower that CG so you don't have a, a tendency to flip in the turns. Um, this boat right here is going to handle a turn at high speed perfect. I mean, it's going to freaking zip around a corner. I got a 5,100C 3S pack. Okay, this boat will take two 2S packs or two 3S packs. Uh, you, you really need to pay attention to how big the battery is for this boat because there's not much room to get your battery in in the battery tray okay and we'll put it in here just to kind of show you guys how it looks probably won't run the boat for you guys in this video uh if you want to see the maiden and the uh prep for the maiden that'll be in the next video but um just basically put it in the tray and strap your strap on all right it's just kind of tight it's just kind of tight in there but you could slide your batteries forward and back for weight distribution uh, that's really nice to see and I need to put my my foams in so the batteries don't slide back and forth because it's going to be hard to get these these straps super tight uh you know well I guess you can get them super tight yeah I guess that's good it's just tight hard to get them off you're probably gonna have to use a screwdriver or something to get your batteries uh, unstrap but you got your um, a brass stuffing tube with a 0 0.150 flex cable and Teflon liner 5 millimeter to 0.150 collet attached to the motor here all right it's, it's a nice simple setup you guys it's simple and, it, and it's sharp looking it's a really sharp looking boat you guys got the boat sitting like flat on my workbench here i took the nylon breakaway screw out took the propeller off so you guys can see how the rudder kicks up if you hit debris in the water it'll actually kick up so you don't rip all your hardware off the transom good to see good to see um this is also good to see you see how the strut is in line 
with the ride surface you see the boats basically sitting flat on the, on the workbench here and the strut is in line with the ride surface out the freaking box you guys out the box it don't have no up angle or down angle um it's a nice neutral position it's actually down just a hair you guys see how it's kind of teetering here on the on the workbench it's teetering on the on the on the strut so uh we'll actually mess around with strut positioning on this boat i really i really enjoy tuning catamarans it's like one of my favorite boats to tune okay like i like tuning mono holes messing with all the hardware but weight distribution in this boat okay weight distribution and strut angle is everything on a catamaran and i basically just wanted to show you guys how this is set up because uh those of you with blackjack 24s you guys are trying to get you know speed out of your 24 this is how your strut should look you know in relation to the ride pads flat with no up angle no down angle basically in line with the ride pads all right yeah man this is nice this is a nice boat you guys i can't wait to freaking take it out and do some numbers with it got some abc props for it we'll run the stock prop on it first and then we'll start messing around with props and stroke positionings later on but um, I think that six pole with the dynamite is going to be okay. I definitely going to probably more than likely upgrade the ESC. That's just me. That's how I like to do all my boats. Just a little extra power uh, for performance. You know, the battery trays are extra long so you could slide your batteries forward and back for weight distribution. That's basically how you tune this boat. Weight distribution and strut position. So yeah, man. Yeah, I'm glad you guys watched the video. I'm, I'm, I'm super happy to have this boat for the channel. Okay, um, it's going to be a, a great addition to the fleet. I want to say uh thank you to pro boat for sending this boat out to me you guys um I, it's hard for me to do it like a, a an accurate review i try my best for you guys I, you know um I get so tickled to death when I get new boats. I get tickled to freaking death, you know? So uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how this boat ha handles, how it acts in the, in the straits, you know, do some ovals with it, and uh, basically see how ironclad the boat is. All right, so I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. We'll see you guys next time, all right? It's a pretty boat, you guys. Uh, there's a link in the description for the boat. If you guys uh, purchase the boat through the channel, it helps the channel out, all right? We'll see you next time, boys.